The Little Things campaign is a campaign aimed at promoting people's awareness of mental health and the little things that they can do to both protect their mental health and improve it. Looking at simple things like exercise, diet, sleep, talking and sharing problems. Um, and we hope that by putting this campaign out that people will develop a greater understanding of mental health and how they can take responsibility and improve their mental health. For the last number of years the focus has been on increasing our services, making our services more accessible which is extremely important but I think until we tackle the prevention piece, until we get to a stage where people build up their own resilience and maybe don't need services we're going to be forever chasing our tails. So I think the Little Things campaign is a way of you know yourself thinking what can I do to make my day better, what can I do to make somebody else's day better? Back in 2014, I actually, I, I left, I walked away from the inter-county scene because I felt I needed to get a better sense of probably who I was. I felt a lot of my identity was was completely wrapped up in football. So if Cavan were going well and I was playing well, I felt good. And if he weren't, sometimes I just felt I was struggling. And when I went away, I sort of promised myself that I wanted to get a better balance. And for me, it's about that balance. It's about sort of having strong pillars in your life. So for me, it's family, it's friends, getting out and about, or you know, if it's going to play around the golf with someone, and getting out. And I think the thing, the big thing that works for me is is those environments where I actually am able to have meaningful conversations. Males in particular, we have a huge capacity and ability to say a lot without saying anything at all. So really, getting those environments where those conversations are allowed to happen. Um, and thankfully for me, I, I got that. And you know, I, I returned. I'm back on the Cavan scene all this year. And you know, I feel my relationship with the game is much better because, and a lot of that is down to recognising and being aware of the little things in my life. On the 20th of uh, August, our health-themed All-Ireland semi-final. There'll be a full house in here. We hope that the 82,000 odd people that's going to be in here in Crow Park. Uh, some of the uh, viewers at home uh, uh, will get exposed to the little things messages possibly for the first time, might go exploring them a little bit further on yourmentalhealth.ie and hopefully it will lead to um, a continued uh, support uh, for the emotional well-being of GA members. I struggled with a lot of mental health issues in the past. Um, so for it to tie in, especially with the GA, is, is massive. You know, It's a huge opportunity for the HSC and for GEA to kind of get it out there that it's okay, kind of not to feel okay. Um, and it's important to do the little things right, you know, in order to maintain a good mental health and good well-being. My life has got a lot busier the last while. I've got married, I've got a job, I'm playing to county football, playing club football. And every now and again it's important to take time out, just to sit and think, take a walk, meet a friend for a coffee. Just something to let you take pause on life and, and re-evaluate and readjust to what's going on around you, just so you don't get steamrolled by everything that's going on. We've always been about our members and our members do matter and their lives matter to us and care for our members is very important to us. So if we've got healthy, uh, happy membership, we're going to have healthier and happier games, healthier and happier communities. So everything is linked and when your family are doing well, everyone within it is happier and healthier. And when we know that there are issues in society, we address them. So we're very happy to be partners with the HSE in helping to promote happier lives, healthier lives.